Hey cute stuff. Hey, welcome to another pick a card with me, the Duchess. So today we are tapping into some urgent messages. What you need to know right now. Yes, these messages are for you. This is a timeless pick a card. So whenever you run into it, that means there's a message for you, baby. All right. So go ahead, take that time to tap into your intuition. Yes, yes, and yes. All right, and pick the image that's calling out to you most. If you're having a problem with your intuition, a little trick I like to use is you can always use a random number generator. If your intuition, you know, maybe playing tricks on you, okay, you could always go directly to the source. Now, let's go ahead and choose between image number one, image number two, or image number three. Multiple may be calling out to you. If so, that means multiple messages are for you. And let's go ahead and get started here with these reveals. All right, boo. So we are about to find out here what it is that you need to know right now. Pile one. Let's see here what it is that you need to know. Urgent message. Come on, spirit. Urgent message. What is it that pile one needs to know today? Oh, we got blue. Okay, fragile, secret love, rejection. So here there is a sense of sadness or lingering, maybe heartbreak or some remnants of heartbreak here that's in your energy space. So it looks like spirit is wanting to talk here about your release of a lot of this blue, sad energy and really focusing on this sense of renewal, this sense of trust, this sense of gratitude, this sense of acceptance. However, we know it's not always easy here when there are certain circumstances that push you into that energy of feeling very sad or very alone, uncared for, unloved. I know that feeling. It sucks, right? It's just like it's lonely at the top. It's lonely at the bottom. It's lonely sometimes, baby. It's lonely sometimes. We got a Stefania Chains Bondage release. Yes. So this is what I'm saying. So you're going through a purge is what I'm hearing. Okay. And part of this purge is releasing a lot of these old feelings of sadness. And I said old and I know some of you are like, this is not old. This is fresh. Yes. But it's like when you have a scab here and you actually get a scab on top of another scab. It's almost like you feel this is fresh pain, but it's like it's piled on, right? Like if, if there's something and then you pile on, pile on, pile on, pile on until it gets so heavy, like to where you're about to break or burst, right? Like, or overfilling something with with pain. So there's this sense here of you getting to this bursting point. And so it's like you are transitioning and you are releasing this pain. You are letting it go. There's this new level of self-love and self-acceptance that's going to be washing over you. And you're going to be seeing who you truly are from a place of loving yourself, feeling accepted and loved and divinely protected by source, by God, the divine, right? Not necessarily focusing on where certain people that were out of your vibrations that were just nowhere close, nowhere good enough, just couldn't even keep up, right? Right may have left you feeling sad, alone, unloved, unwanted, un, un, um, cared for, right? So you're releasing that energy because you're dwelling in the true radiance that is you. You are feeling that love that is in you, yes. And so now you're in that place where you're feeling more fearless, more justified, more, you know what, if you reject me, it's because you're dumb, okay? It's because you're stupid. It's because you wouldn't know what was good for you if it slapped you right in the face, okay? It's like, if, if you want to try to play with me, it's not because I did anything wrong. It's because you need help. It's because you're not well, honey, okay? Get well soon, baby. Get well soon. So there's this energy here where you're transmuting a lot of your sadness, right? And you're releasing it because you're focused on, let this be my strength. Let me show people how I still show up strong, how I resist this sense of trying to make me feel low, make me feel bad, make me feel like I'm not good enough, right? We're not doing that. We're resisting all of that. You are fearless. You are confident. You know who you are. You know what you bring to the table and you know what you deserve. And so with this new energy, this is going to bring new blessings your way. So let's talk about it, Spirit. What's coming here for Pile 1? What they need to know about this urgent message? What new blessings is coming? So we got here passion, fire, pursuit. Yes, you are getting your passion back. You are no longer feeling broken. Some people tried to break you. Okay. Some people tried to break you. 
leave you to where you were feeling like there was no hope, but it didn't work. No, because why? You're divinely protected. You're divinely guided. You're, you're full of love and light. Okay, so no matter what they do, you are accepted. You are loved. You are fearless. You are strong. And so with this here, you are reactivating your passion. You are knowing what you bring to the table, what you have the ability to make happen, what you have the ability to create, what you have the ability to maintain here. So you're getting your fire and your drive back as you release this sadness and no longer care about whoever these clowns are. Okay. We got here. Yes, you're getting out of this repeated pattern. This is why I said it was stacked up because it's like there was pain after pain after pain, heartbreak after heartbreak, sorrow after sorrow. You know, you know, just just so much feeling like there's so much betrayal, you know. And so with that here, it's like for a while, it just seemed like a repeated pattern, a cycle, something that you were stuck in. But now it's like something in you has clicked, has changed. There's there's this new drive to no longer be in that cycle, but instead to be free, to be free. Yes. Instead, you're allowing yourself. And I love the way it's the wreaths back to back. It's like you've changed from one type of wreath to the other. You change from the wreath of repeated patterns to the wreath of encouragement, honey. Yes. OK, you're welcoming in what is good for you. You notice that you didn't need, you know, Jim, Jerome's, Caitlin, Kimmy's. You didn't need the acceptance because you got a whole tribe, a whole soul family that loves you. OK, yep, you do. You do. I do. Right. Yes. I love you. So whatever it is, we we don't care about any of that. We really don't care. We got here. Yes. It's a time of discovery in your life. There's going to be a lot more new gifts coming in, new adventures. You're going to be doing different things. You're going to be truly experiencing life from like your point of view, from the way that you've always wanted to experience life, but you haven't because you've been too stuck in this point of despair, this point of unhappiness, lack of being fulfilled, right? It's like now that's shifty. Now you're getting that chance here to sit in that sense of adventure. We got, yes, there's going to be a lot more of you work, um, coming together here with the people that coincide with you. So that's the gift here. That's the gift. It's like, rejection is what the lord's protection right or one rejection is another acceptance yes it is so it's like okay y'all want to act funny or you know whether this be a job or even a relationship like an ex contacted me today trying to backpedal no 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 okay you picked who you picked you didn't pick me so that's okay i'm good that i'm good i'm good because there's a better option, honey. There's a better option. So here it's like you're no longer feeling defeated, right? You're no longer feeling left out. You're not going to be feeling alone. You're going to be feeling like you are exactly where you need to be. And this is because you didn't let nobody take you down, tear you down, hold you back, play these mind games. No, we're not doing it. Tell us more here. Urgent message. Pile one. Yes, you are all the way strong. I love it. Okay. You are all the way strong. Nothing or no one can hold you back. Like, it's just crazy here. Like, it's wild how much strength you have from everything. The star. Yes, it's like now you have stepped into your full power. You're a superstar. Okay. Like, making the stylus a superstar, honey. And this is in your own right. So, with that being said here, it's like you don't have time to be in that sense of misery no more. You're like, misery who? Misery what? Sadness who? Rejection what? There is no such thing, okay? Because I'm living in my strength. I'm living in my resolve. I am that star here, okay? Yes, yes, honey, yes. Three of wands. So you are writing your own story here for your future. You are writing your own story for your future, other people's story was to leave you sad, needing them, you know, miserable. And you're like, ah, oh, psych, you thought, okay? You thought, but my future is going to be full of discovery, full of adventure, okay? Full of good and beautiful people, passionate new beginnings, all of that good stuff. There's literally nothing to worry about. And this is because you're leaving the five of wands behind, Okay. No more scratch records. Scoot, scoot, scoot. No, we don't want to hear it no more. Okay, we've upgraded. We've upgraded to digital so you can keep your scratch records to yourself. To yourself. 
And this really represents here where you don't mind being stone cold. Like, <laughs> you're like, I'm going to be stone cold before I be sad. You think you're going to hurt me? You think you're going to play me? You think you bring in negativity? It's not going to work. So you are pretty much toxic proof. This is the urgent message that spirit wanted you to have. You are toxicity proof. Okay. And this is because when you see it from a mile away, you're like, ur, 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 jet out of here. Done. I'm good. You know, you want to play these childish games? I'm not playing them. I'm good on it. You want to act like mean girls and all this other nonsense when we grown? Okay, do you. But you playing by yourself because I'm not even cooperating or even worried about you. Quite frankly, I'm fearless. I'm doing my own thing. And I'm, matter of fact, got some new friends because I forgot about you because you're a clown. Okay, so it's just that simple. Yes, I did say it. And I don't mind. A clown is a clown is a clown, okay? And not to hate on real clowns. We talk about figuratively. People that act like a joke when they really saying they serious, you're you're a joke, okay? You are a joke. All right, pile one, please like, share, comment, subscribe, sending you love, like blessings. Check out my website below for all the goodies or to book a reading. And I'll be talking to you later. Bye. All right, pile two, urgent message you need to hear right now. Spirit, what does Pile 2 need to know right now? What's their urgent message? We're starting off here with Renee, love, hope, and relationships. Okay, so this message has to do with your love life, with your relationships. Okay, let's see what y'all want them to know about their love life and relationships. Tell us here. Oh, 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 I feel like both of these cards are saying, <laughs> come for me, baby. All right, so we got flourish prosper blossom hell yes we do okay and we got empathy gentleness insight with colette orchid and renee okay so it looks like they saying your love life is about to blossom pile two this is beautiful energy okay there is about to be a flourishing here in your connection so for some of you this could be romantic love but for others this could also be a platonic love or friendship here partnership but i'm really getting a lot of romance vibes in here so for y'all that <laughs> you just clicked on it this is definitely your sign honey if that's what you was waiting to hear okay so there is this kind of renewal in your relationships in your love life that bring this sense of flourishing a sense of things having actual growth so if you've been feeling like there's stagnation or like things have been maybe blah is what i call it or, or um what's it called when it's like you get used to things and it becomes like a routine or it's just like no spices like things are about to spice up is what i am hearing honey okay but this is because you were really nurturing and loving to yourself you've been very gentle with yourself you've been very empathetic with yourself and you're in that place of really knowing your deservingness and that's why it's like your third eye is also very open and because of that what's happening is you are opening yourself here to true love and 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 genuine positive relationships and connections to a lot of growth right so they're saying here that right now because of your sense of loving yourself, nurturing yourself, you are thriving when it comes to your love life. But this is also because um, you have that hope, okay? You have that belief. You have that trust here in source and in yourself here that you deserve also from others. Empathy, gentleness, okay? You're not settling for somebody, you know, you sitting here loving yourself and being gentle and then somebody's coming with the nonsense. No, you're not doing it. So what's happening is now you're being rewarded here with very healthy relationships based off of you loving yourself and nurturing yourself. So you're attracting those who love and nurture you. Nothing less, honey, nothing less. Yes, because you've been through enough. You've had enough sorrow. You've been through enough misery, enough pain. You've been through enough. So you're just saying no to that pile too. And because you're saying no to that, the doors are busting wide open here for you to have true and genuine connections. Love. Yes, I love this. And this is because the fog has been lifted. Like I said about that third eye being open. Before, it seems like you would also always like put yourself in a position here of connections that weren't healthy, okay? That were more of an illusion, that bring you more sadness than happiness, right? That are more toxic than healthy. But if that's all you've ever known, that's all you can ever experience. But through your healing, through your growth, right? Now you're flourishing. And since you are flourishing, now your relationships are going to flourish. Yes, yes, and yes. You see clearly what's good for you and what's not. 
It's like, okay, wait a minute. My radar saying this person, they offering, oh, okay, that brings sadness. That brings misery. Do, do, do. Other direction. Okay. Okay. This, this brings empathy, gentleness. Okay. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. You're invited in my life. You're allowed in. Okay. Tell us about this loving connection. What's going on here, spirit? Give us insight. We got here that it's a journey, okay? So this is something that's supposed to last for the long term, a long road. This is a connection, a love here, a relationship where you're supposed to grow with this person for the long term. And hence, that is part of the blossoming process. That is part of the... the um, the prosperity here is growing together, learning together, being aware together, healing and releasing pain that, you know, may be triggered on this journey. Because just because you heal don't mean you ain't never triggered, honey. Okay. But that's going to be part of this growth process here. Tell us more for pile two. Yes, there's going to be a lot of passion between y'all. Oh. Yes, honey. Yes. Okay. It's going to be very fiery. There's going to be this sense. I'm seeing actual tussling. Like y'all might like to wrestle or tussle or play or something here. There's just like this kind of fiery passion here. There's this deep desire, this yearning. There's this sense of really tugging on each other's heart springs. I'm getting the word dynamic. Okay. So I feel like this connection here between you and this person is going to be a very dynamic one. And so spirit wants you to be mentally and emotionally prepared for this because this is not for play play, honey. Okay. No, it's not. This is going to be a connection that's very fast paced. Look at how fast this carnival is going. Yes. Look at... <laughs> I'm sick just looking at this worldly thing, okay? Whatever this is called. It's a time of excitement. It's a time of fun. It's a time of happiness. It's a time of passion. This connection is really going to spark this fire here under you because it's going to be so refreshing after a time of nothing but kind of sad connections, miserable ones. Like, mm. But this is because you've done the work and, and you've pulled yourself out, right? So it's like if any of those toxic people in your you ain't answering the door, okay? Or they already know, don't come to your door. You ain't answering the text. You ain't answering the DM. They blocked. You ain't answering the email. So because of that, now you're getting something better, honey. Something better. Tell us more. We got obsession, control, people pleaser. So in the past here, the reason why you've had such negative or toxic connections or I, let's call them connections with a lot of lessons okay is because you were a bit of a control freak and that's something that you worked on healing and when you're a control freak that could easily throw you into people pleasing that's one angle of being a control freak right to really find ourselves in a position where we create happiness but instead of creating happiness you were just creating misery that's all you was creating and it's like one minute things will be good in your connection. The next minute is, is horrible. It's downhill. And this is because you were never really truly being authentic or real to yourself. And since you have that with you this time, you're having the persons or people around you that are equally, okay, um, authentic and real. And two, accepting you for the authentic and real version of you, which is what you want to be accepted for. We don't want to be accepted for being a perfect Patty or a perfect Paul or a perfect whoever we want to call it, Pamela, um, Patrick, whoever, okay? We don't want to be loved for that. Give us more here. What's going on? We got the Six of Swords. So this is a journey. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. So they're saying that you've been on this journey here of self-discovery to really kind of clear. Again, we keep going to this third eye. Okay. It's like to clear the way you perceive people and the way that they treat you right so a good example of this would be say if you always were around someone that was maybe toxic or verbally abusive or whatever that becomes like the sense of a norm so you can't even see straight that this is not normal that this is toxic you get what i'm saying because that's what's always happened but now that you're out of that and you can see clearly right you're able to find something that really flows and works with you that works for you okay so let me give you an example of this with my ex-husband which i had to leave because he was overly controlling i didn't even know it was it was not normal that i couldn't go anywhere hang out with friends or do anything i would always tell like my coworkers where i can't go because i'm gonna get in trouble and they were like you know that's not normal right and i'm like what I, I don't know but i was so fairly young when i got married in the first place you get what i'm saying so it's giving me these vibes here where you haven't really seen something for what it is but now that you do you your picker, 
is a lot better and therefore you're able to have these healthy connections. You know if someone's jealous, you know if someone's lying, you know if someone's playing a game, okay? And so this is leading you right to your wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. That represents your wish fulfillment. I'm also hearing you might be seeing a lot of nines here before this person comes in or before you really come into union. We got Six of Cups, Six of Swords. Hmm. There's a wish fulfillment coming when it comes to your love life. It's going to be very nostalgic. It's going to feel very fulfilling. You're going to feel very hopeful. And it's going to be balanced, most important, more than anything. Yes, honey, justice. What more can you need in your love life than balance? Justice is going to be fair for you, but this is because you're fair for yourself. There's going to be an air of friendship. There's going to be an air of understanding. There's going to be an air of using logic, but at the same time, using your heart space. It's so balanced. It's ridiculous. Okay. We also got triple sixes, six of cups, six of coins, six of swords. So that might be another number. Okay. So this is going to be the healthiest connection that you've ever seen or built or worked or been in, whatever. Okay. Because you have consciously like attracted or manifested this connection in you have consciously been like you know what source i'm ready i am ready for the real deal i am ready for balance i am ready for wholeness i am ready for purity i'm ready for love empathy gentleness right kindness and because your heart and soul is ready so you shall receive please like share comment follow subscribe all of that good stuff check out my website linked below all the goodies and a reading can be purchased there i'll talk to you later boo bye all right pile three let's go ahead and see what's good what is the urgent message you need to hear today spirit give us insight for pile three urgent message they need to hear today we got manatilli powerful devotion true worth so it looks like there's this energy around you here of stepping onto your throne i am loving this energy okay you are feeling very powerful here and you are knowing your worth so i feel like as you step into some sort of deservingness something here good is coming in for you i'm hearing some goodies okay tell us more spirit what does pile three need to know so we got eclat battle victory look at this yes yes and yes she who regrets okay so we got you again in this sense of battle this sense of strength this sense of power okay and so with Matula here we got you now in the sense of renewal and going on a new pathway so it's what i'm hearing is what used to be good for me is not good enough anymore okay so it's like your worth and your devotion is put towards what is really good for you it's put towards you fighting those battles that lead you to victory okay it's put towards you going on those pathways that bring you success that bring you prosperity that bring you abundance it's like you are no longer allowing yourself to go down directions that are full of potholes pitfalls because when you see it you're like wait a minute hold up okay that's not what i deserve i am worthy okay i am a queen i am a king i am full of strength i am a warrior and with that i take the path um this 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 easy and good okay i don't take the path that's gonna be bringing me nothing but drama and chaos because that's not what i deserve tell us what's going on pile three urgent message what they need to know we got great desire, yearning, longing, expectancy. So I feel like something that you have been yearning for may be coming in. What's going on here? Yes, honey, some opportunities that you have been yearning for are coming in. But this is because you put yourself in a position here of knowing your worth and sitting on this throne. Okay, so this is like an opportunity to get your crown, but you got to sit on the throne to receive it. And you, you stood right up there. Yep go ahead crown me baby crown me with these blessings so there's been some hearts desires that you've been wanting desiring and so the door is opening up but it's like i feel like it's still at this place because there's actually a door of opportunity and a window of opportunity so i feel like you can see through the window you can see these pathways opening you can see it but at the same time you still need to take a few steps forward here so you can walk through that opening because the opportunity is there 
but you got to walk through. Go ahead, accept the opportunity. Tell us more for pile three. Arrival, yes, yes, yes. You have arrived, honey. You have arrived, okay? So this is your final stop. This is your destination. This is, it's like you travel this road to get exactly to what you want to get to. So if it's been a long road, just know that now it's a time of things really looking almost picture perfect. Interesting. I like this energy, okay? Um, but I'm hearing you have to keep fueling or you have to keep fighting for it. You have to keep moving forward. It's not a time to just be like, okay, well, now I'm on my throne. Everything is perfect. No, excuse me. You're going through a transition working towards that level of perfection. They're still at this place of opportunity. Yes, yes, yes. So as you're in this place here of just feeling at peace and knowing that everything's coming, there's going to be a lot of blessings coming your way, a lot of riches. I'm hearing financial, emotional, okay? Blessings. That it's a time to be thankful and be open and receive those. It's a time to be in gratitude for the blessings that are coming in towards you, okay? I love this here because it's like that sense of satisfaction, something that you long for for so long and you finally get it. Yes, satisfaction here, comfort, warmth. Feeling fulfilled, feeling like things are working out for you. And you can say, yes, they are working out for me, honey. Yes, you are feeling secure. You are trusting. You are deeply rooted. You are grounded in that heavenly love. Yes, yes, and yes. So therefore, you're in that place here to strive, to win, to grow. Okay. <clears throat> what else do you want, Pile 3, to know here? We got the tower. So the tower for me always represents some unavoidable, inevitable change, right? So this is all happening. It was meant for you to step into this power, okay? It was meant for you to be in this place of truly trusting in God, source the divine, right? Because that's what has brought you to this place here of this fertility in your life. That's what has brought this opportunity, if you're in a place of doubt, if you're in a place of feeling unworthy, this opportunity would never come. So you should still be giving yourself a pat on the back here um, for everything that is coming your way. Yes, yes, yes. It's a time of trusting. The fool takes risks. The fool is an adventurer. The fool trusts without seeing. Okay, so even if you can't fully see the blessings right now, you can see a little bit through the window. But even if you can't see the full um, capacity of what these blessings are, they're huge. They're major is what I'm hearing. Major blessings that you can't see, but they're right there waiting for you as you trust and know that you deserve and keep moving forward to them. We got a two of cups, a page of coins, a queen of cups. And an eight of wands. So it looks like there's going to be some sort of opportunity for you to come together with someone to either have some sort of discussions or to focus on some level of travel. What does this have to do? Why do they need to know this spirit? It's a ten of cups. Okay, so they're saying here that you're having some sort of new opportunity that's coming in that you might... I don't know. You might look at it a little bit weary, but you shouldn't. It's, it's a time to take some level of risk here. But this opportunity coming in is one that brings a level of stability or a level of collaboration. It brings a level of feeling fulfilled, feeling like things are going your way. Hmm. This is bringing some sort of blessing. The lovers. Yeah, so we got the two of cups and the lovers here. Hmm. The Ten of Cups. Whoever this person is, they're bringing a lot of positive energy in. I feel like you're going to be coming together with this person or collaborating with this person in some way. But this brings more blessings into your life. I do feel like Spirit is saying, though, that it's important to still use a lot of logic with this person or to stay in a controlled manner. Because this could almost seem like someone sweeping you off your feet or someone coming in with a grand offer. But just because the offer is grand don't mean that you don't need to inspect it, right? And use your observation skills and your intuition. 
So I feel like Spirit is saying there's going to be some sort of grand offer coming in from someone that seems very exciting, right? And lovable and great and amazing. But it's up to you to truly observe as well and to use um, logic, right? So say, for instance, you haven't heard from somebody for a while, but you really, you know, you and this person, cool, y'all get along and they invite you on a trip. But the last trip y'all went on, you know, there was some sort of drama. You need to use your discernment, okay? What brought the drama? Maybe I should just avoid this person or I can go and just know, don't mention nothing about no one's baby daddy and say that's what triggered the person. Okay. Or something like that. And then, you know, it's good. So I don't know. There's this energy here of just being smart about this offer. And I think that's part of as well, you knowing your worth. I feel like this could be some or one of the many opportunities that's coming your way based off of you having this new attitude and being in this new energy. Yes, a six of cups and a ten of coins. I love it. I love this, okay? So there's going to be a sense of overflow, again, abundance, right? There's this sense of stability that you're stepping into. There's this sense of moving past stuck energy. I love the two of swords because it usually represents stuck energy. But with this, no, the time is passing, okay? The clock is ticking so it's like you've overcome this sense of stuck energy and now you're in this kind of vibration of receptive energy and so that's a lot more flowing right because stuck energy is not flowing at all it's stuck but this is receptive energy that's flowing based off of you knowing your worth you taking the right risk and you allowing in the right opportunities i am sending you love light and blessings go ahead and um comment subscribe like share all of that good stuff check out my website for all of the goodies that i offer as well as if you want to get a reading i'll be talking to you later boo bye